Hello everyone, welcome to next video on C programming. So in this video, we are going to discuss about while loop. So let us imagine that we are creating a software. In that software, there is a point where we have to print number from 1 to 10. So in this situation, we can use printf function to print number from 1 to 10. But we have to write this print function 10 times. So this will make our code quite lengthy. So to solve this kind of problem, we use while loop. So let us see how we can use while loop and how it looks like. So I'm just going to delete this and I'm just going to create one integer variable. So here let us write int, say for example the variable name is a which is equals to say for example 1. Now here let us write while a is less than or equal to 10. I'm going to print the value of a and here let us write return 0. So see here we had used while loop. To use while loop first we have to write while then the test condition then what we want to print. So now let us run the program and try to find out what will be the output. So here just click build and run. So here you can see that this a is printing till infinity. So we have to stop this loop. To stop this loop we have to use increment operator. So I'm just going to close this and here I'm just going to write the value of a and to stop the loop we have to use increment operator. So here let's write increment operator. So increment operator will increase the value of a by 1. So now let us try to run the program and try to find out what is the output. Again click on build and run and here we get the value of a is 1, 2, 3, 4 till 10. So let me explain this program. So see here we had used a integer data type and here the variable name is a which is equals to 10. And here we had used while loop and here we had written the test condition. If this a is less than or equal to 10, we are going to print the value of a. And every time we want to increase the value of a by 1. So that's why here we had used increment operator. First it will print the value of a. So here the value of a is 1. So it will first print the value of a 1. Then it will increase the value of a by 1. So now the value of a is 2 which is less than or equal to 10. So again it will print value of a 2. Again it will increase the value of a by 1. So now the value is 3. So again this a is less than or equal to 10. So it will print value of a 3. So this loop will continue until this a is less than or equal to 10. So now say for example the value of a is 10. So it will print the value of a 10 and it will increase the value of a by 1. So now the value of a is 11. So this 11 is not less than or equal to 10. So this loop will break. So this way we can use while loop. So if you want to do some similar tasks again and again you can use while loop to do that tasks. By using while loop we can make our code shorter. So I hope you understood the concept of while loop. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more programming videos like this.